Welcome back. We have found a hidden passage behind the prison that was above the war gallows. And we found a door hidden in the darkness. Which reveals another passage where the lights are already on. Did the prisoner we saw go this way rather than take a boat like I guessed? It's possible. Okay. Now this is uh, interesting. Bunch of stones with symbols on them. Hey, we've seen that one. We've seen that symbol. That was the one on the cliff wall. Looks like we can pull these stones up. Um... We've seen this one too. This is the butterflies. I think. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, because you couldn't get a good, straightforward picture of it um, with the whole thing in it. If we combine these three pictures, we uh, can tell that it's this one. A bunch of other symbols we don't know, and they kind of all look like animals. Like a bat, maybe? Some kind of fish we don't know. Hey, that's the... That's the morgue. Pretty sure that we've seen this symbol, like, on the lamps in the school. That's how the work is depicted. Is that... Is that water? That's weird. Looks like there's something behind it. Kind of hard to tell what. Oh, and this is definitely the symbol we saw in the jungle. And I think that's all of them. That's all the ones we've seen so far. Well, I guess we can just guess. Seems like our odds are uh, kind of against us there. Nothing's happening. Do we just have to raise all of them? No, no. After six, they um, go back down. So do we need six symbols? Nothing happened, so I'm assuming that wasn't correct. Wonder what animals the symbols we have so far represent though. Like I think um where is it? This one pretty sure that's the the sunners. The animal we saw laying on the rock. Not sure what this is. I mean, it's the game logo, but... If it also represents an animal, it's not entirely clear which one. This one kind of looks like a frog? The frog we saw captured in Gen's lab. That's probably what it is. Interesting. Let's 
check this out a little more closely. This is definitely water. Oh! That is another moiety dagger. Painted, or something, or carved maybe, it's hard to tell. On a st the stone behind there. We can't get to it because of the water. I mean... I could hold my breath. But, uh... I have a feeling that uh, that's still not gonna accomplish anything. It must be pretty warm in here. It must be something. It must be some kind of heat source that keeps the uh, the water stuck against the wall like that. Don't quite know what I'm looking at there. I don't think there's much we can do here um, without knowing the remaining symbols. It seems the symbols and the totems are linked, though, because every symbol we've seen so far, there was a totem nearby. So the... Uh, Sunner symbol, actually, there was a totem nearby, but it was missing the number. The number was in... Gen's lab. And that would have been the number three. Based on the... Uh, the Rivenese numbers we learned, which of course we learned from uh, the classroom here. And by process of extrapolation. Number three is actually on here. I guess it kind of makes sense that uh, that there would be six symbols. As this number system is sort of basics, like this is one, then two would be the wedge on the bottom, then three, then you go to two wedges for four, which is on the bottom right, not depicted here, five is this one, and then six, and then you just start doubling the number of wedges. So it is sort of base six. Not a number system that's good for representing large numbers, because you just make your uh, numbers larger outwards. I guess the villagers here don't have much use for complex math. I wonder if they have a number for zero. I would guess it would just be the central dot without any wedges. So I guess that having six symbols to them is like having ten symbols. For us, a perfectly natural number. Which again kind of proves that Gen's obsession with five is ridiculous. So even though he thinks that everything relates to five and that he's imbued the age with the power of five or something through the writing he did. The Rivenese use a base six number system. The Warwick also responded after, like, got angry after six times turning the light on and off. So even the Warwick wants to defy again. Um, so anyway, yeah. The Sunner was three. The, um... The frog, or Itrim as they're actually called, is this one. That's number four, then. And uh, we... Yeah, we have... The symbol on the cliff wall that we saw through the telescope. Um, and that's this one, that's number two. Is that the order you have to pull them up in, maybe? I guess that would make sense. Is this a symbol? We, have, we, don't, we haven't seen a symbol like this. Nor was there a totem near this. 
This isn't one of the symbols on the stones here, so I guess not. Then we have um, the totem from the cave. That's number six. And um, the totem by the tree. That's number five. We don't know the symbols for those two yet. And presumably there must be a uh, number one symbol and totem near somewhere. Which we haven't seen at all yet. So, yeah, something tells me if we want to find the moiety, we need to figure out what symbols to use here. This looks like it's kind of wet. All right, um, let's continue our exploration. I guess we need to go back to the sub, but wait, it actually looks like, it looks like there's a passage behind there as well. Close this. And there is a hidden passage. It's a dead end, though. Switch here. Oh, we're here. I'm going to... Uh, Take a quick picture here. Because these three of the blue sticks are blinking. And they went out. Interesting. So there's a secret passage hidden exactly where we saw that uh, drawing before of Gen feeding villagers to the works, and now that we actually know he that's something he does is a lot more I don't know, frightening, I guess. Right with the, the dagger there as well. Did I actually get the the, the image right? I did. You have to time it so that you can actually see uh, what they are. So, let's see what happens if we light up those three sticks. I have a feeling I can guess. Um, which one was it? First one, and then the last one. Okay. So that one, and... That one. I think that one might be wrong. Can't turn it off. Have to wait now. Oh, let me just double check there. Kind of hard to tell if that's the... third one or the if that's another one is that yeah yeah it is okay yeah okay pretty clearly we need this one this one and that one and as I expected it opens the secret passage so they do have another way in and out that doesn't require using the prison. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, <laughs> I have actually heard, like this, the, the code to get in here is random, which is why I needed to take a picture of it quickly. Um, 
But I have heard of a case where somebody guessed it by accident. Got in here before they even had the... The moiety lens. And then got stuck in the prison because they didn't know how to open the, the, the door from the inside. That would suck. Um, speaking of the prison, we actually do want to go back that way. Because we want to continue checking where the sub can take us. That's down, we need to go up. Yeah, because you could probably find this without the Moiety Lens. Like I said, it's not that hard to just walk through this passage. Then you go in here. I think the door just shuts after... a little bit? Or not? I thought it did. Maybe they patched it because of this issue. <laughs> Prisoner isn't here, by the way, if you, uh, if you come around that way. Yeah, the door no longer seems to shut, and I'm pretty sure it did before. So, no more getting stuck here. Okay, now it shuts. Was that time or me getting far away? Because if it's me getting far away, then it's, you know, still not a problem if you're in there. If it was time, then yes, you are now screwed. Let's get back down to where we parked our submarine. Here we can actually uh, press the button while we're on the platform. Although there is still a delay. But at least now we know that uh, what we are looking for. It's three more of those symbols. In the original game, there were only five, now there are six. And yeah, it's an achievement if you put the, uh, the old code in there. The symbols themselves are not random. The order, the numbers associated with them are so, yep, you're going to have to do this. Alright, let's check out the next stop, I guess. Oh, these are the same glowing sticks as in the cave. I guess they naturally grow underwater. Some more of them. And another hole in the water being created. Where are we now? Oh, at the school. That's not helpful. We could already get here before. The glowing sticks weirdly look prettier from up here than they actually do from inside the water. Oh, it looks like the hole over there is still open. We did see the hole where the sub started close, though, so... Um... What is this lever here? Oh! It turns the sub around. Wait, so... We were going this way. If I... Do this now... Does it automatically turn around? No. We're just gonna go all the way. All the way back.
Why not? Taking a bit of a detour. There's the war gallows. Oh, yep, that hole's still there. To the right here is uh, our starting point here, over here in the cave. Uh, I could just barely do it. I, I kind of missed it, but yeah, that's where the, we saw that other symbol that's not in the on the stone slabs. And yeah, a bit of a detour. We uh, managed to get where we wanted to go. Why are these lit now? And this one isn't. Not sure. Now we are... Oh! At... Uh, the podium. Where again... Addresses the village. Looks like you can... Put some... A, a book or other pages of text there. Uh, we are still being watched. I mean, I guess that makes sense. He did say he would know when we've succeeded, so... Either he's watching us, or one of his men is, to uh, inform him of that. How do you turn this microphone on? That a, presumably it's that switch. But it's not something we can operate. There's also a wheel here. Which extends a bridge. So now we can get into the village. Oh, I'm being distracted by cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was just being held up by the microphone, so I'm sure you heard that. <laughs> anyway, Goose says hi. Um... Wait. The uh, hole in the water by the uh, by the gallows is gone. I guess it takes a little bit of time for the those heating elements underneath the sub to cool off when they're turned off. They kind of look like the like the radial type of heating for a electric stove and yeah those do take a while to cool off where are these bubbles coming from I do not know but we have now made it into the uh, The village to the part that we could not access before. This looks like it's some kind of altar or offering dish, maybe. Some drums. The feeling there's some kind of ceremony performed here with Gen watching. Gotta make sure we keep everybody in line, I guess. Um, we are now able to enter the village, though. Let's see. Let's go this way. More lighting that's not on right now. Where does this go? Oh, to the, uh, one of the drawbridges.
Which we can lower. And also raise again. We can raise it halfway. If this were Uru, there would be a jumping puzzle involved with that, but no. Any amount of raising, we can't actually uh, get onto it, so we want it all the way down. Which now gives us a shortcut back here. We don't really need to go back here, though. We want to explore the rest of the village. Um, we do have an easier way to get back, though. I wonder what the drawbridges are for. Like, this village has drawbridges and um, these, like, warning posts that are permanently manned. They can't all be just in case the uh, like somebody links in that Gen warns them about and I doubt they're for Gen himself because A he can still get there with the submarine and B I doubt Gen would take kindly to the villagers locking him out Um, looks like we can go up here. Is there any? There's something that's lighting up up there. Some more butterflies flying around too. Nothing obvious though. This uh, village is not great if you're uh, if you have any kind of accessibility issues. Lots of ladder climbing. Seems like a cozy little village, although. I do think those huts are a bit on the small side. The crawl to get in there. Um, looks like we can go two different ways from here. Left and right. Where is that? Oh, that's what we we're seeing light up. Oh, those are just butterflies. Is it just butterflies? Looks like they've got some... ...fish hanging here to dry. Oh, that's... That's the symbol. That's the... ...the cliff wall symbol. It's these fish. Just, you know, pointing down. So they are all animals. Okay, makes sense. We figured it out. Um, we can go even further up. Or we can go this way. That's where the butterflies are. And we found the other drawbridge. Alright, well, presuming nobody uh, raises those again, we've made it a little bit easier to get in and out of the village. I mean, if they know that we can get in using the submarine, then it would be kind of pointless.
for them to do so, I guess. Um, that's where we came from. Let's check out up here. More fish. Lots more fish. Got a feeling that their diet is uh, a bit monotonous. Although we know they also have at least some fruit. They could possibly also eat the uh, sunners, I guess. I doubt they hunt warks. Oh, and we scared the butterflies off. Hey! We found a paint bucket. Did we find our painter? If so, then... There are moiety in this village. Oh, these are the flowers from that tree that we saw light up. It looks like they... There's some kind of mortar and pestle to grind them up. So that's, I guess, how they make the paint. And again, we see that the uh, butterflies are very attracted to that. I have a feeling that the butterflies eat the uh, the flowers or get some kind of nectar from them. That's probably also why they glow. They consume whatever uh, whatever it is in these flowers that lights up, and why they would be attracted to the paint because it's essentially made from their food. Oh, guess we can knock. Nothing happened though. It's again symbol. Again, really doesn't want the villagers to forget that he exists, does he? Hello? Hmm. Well, I was gonna have to try and sell him a subscription to the New York Times, but who reads newspapers anymore? To knock five times. Wonder if that's a policy that. Again, institute it. Um, but clearly he is not interested in talking to us. Whoever that was. Because everybody is just hiding in their huts. Alright, well, we learned how to make paint. The paint also feels like probably not just for us. Doesn't look like anything else in the village really lights up, does it? Doesn't block the sun much. Might be nice for sunglasses though. Not super effective. Um it doesn't feel like they're they're painting these things and putting the putting the numbers up for us actually by the date on on the piece of paper where again described the the number from the from the totem that he got um that would have been before we even arrived in the village for in riven um, did I go this way yet? No, I don't think I did. So, I'm wondering if they're leaving this stuff behind. So that people who are interested in joining the rebels have a way of finding them. All they would have to do is find the lens. So presumably then they put back after it's been used. And find the symbols. The one on Prison Island would be a bit hard to deal with. Doubt many villagers regularly go there. 
Though you can kind of see it from here, and if you're only missing one number, it's easy to guess. And I know that, because I, that's what I did. Remember, I told you I didn't find that location <laughs> in my original playthrough. So I did have to guess that number. Using the invisible paint is... Uh, kind of clever for that, because prevents it from being found by people you don't want it to find. Anybody in there? If they are, they're staying hidden. Looks like we made our way up to the big structure. Doesn't look like we can get in there, though. It's a bit disappointing. this. It's water. It's a water tower. Wait, if it's, it's a water tower, why does it have windows? I don't actually know the answer to that. Although I have seen someone speculate that maybe it is uh, similar to uh, what is called an air well. If you look up pictures, they are stone structures with windows in the side that are basically meant to encourage condensation. To collect water that way. Which would make sense, because... If that lake is indeed um, a saltwater lake, as I have speculated it might be, then getting fresh water would be uh, very important for the villagers. They can rely somewhat on collecting rainfall, but having something that collects water just from condensation would be a nice way to supplement that. And having the big water tower also makes sense then. Anyway, we have water here, so we can wash our hands again. Let's not waste our water too much. It also looks like we can move this thing. And that's the... Kind of looks like bamboo, but... Not sure if it is. That's the pipe, anyway, that we saw leads all the way down to the tree over there. So, now we can send some water to the tree. And I wonder if we look at that with the... Wow, talk about instant rehab. A little bit of water is all that tree needed to get a lot more flowers blooming. Definitely want to go back down and take a look at that. Let's go check that out, I guess. That does kind of... Um, it does kind of... Um, tell me that my original hypothesis that directing water to the tree would direct it away from... the cave um, doesn't seem like that's correct. So we still don't really know what to do with the paint on the cave ceiling there. I guess we'll have to take another look at that. Must be some other solution. Alright, let's take a look. Oh! There we go. That looks like one of the symbols we saw 
on um, in the cave. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to put the spyglass away. So somebody must trim this tree to make it look like that. What animal? Can I stop? Okay. What animal is this supposed to be? I would guess a beetle, maybe? Like the ones we saw depicted in the rotating room, as well as the, uh, the actual one we saw outside the jungle. I have a bunch of useless screenshots now. So, we know that the beetle is number, um... Five, I think this is. Alright. That's four down, two to go. One more is going to be that uh, little pool in the cave. Just need to figure out how that works. What symbol it is. And, um, the other one we have yet to find. Hopefully it's in the village somewhere, otherwise I'm kind of lost. Got some nice views from up, up here. We haven't gone this way yet. What's over here? More fish. Um, looks like a chimney of some sort. That is, uh, shaped like a the head of a wark. I have a feeling that wasn't the villagers' decision. It goes down below somewhere. Um... Wait a second, this actually kind of looks like the... No, I mean notebook. Got a bunch of useless pictures here now. Um, this kind of looks like the symbol... Yeah, it does look like the work had depicted this way. So, is that related somehow? Looks like we can click on this. Oh, we can just look down into it. Also click on that. Huh. That redirects the steam somewhere else. Closes the chimney. Interesting. What are we supposed to do with this? Like, if there's a drawing of this down here using the invisible moiety paint, it must be important somehow. I wonder if. Oh, yeah, there is. There's paint inside the chimney. Get a better look at it from the other side, maybe? Not really. Look like that's gonna make a symbol from this side. But there's definitely paint in there. Wonder if we're supposed to close this.
I want to go take a look at where that uh, steam is coming out now. It's definitely somewhere near where that drawing was. Another fun fact is um, playing originally in VR, I didn't notice you could close the chimney. It's much easier in screen mode to uh, notice that you can interact with the tusks to shut that. Um, where am I going? Oh yeah, down the ladder. So, I knew I was looking for a sixth symbol, I couldn't find it. And navigating around the village, like going back and forth in VR, was getting a little bit tiresome. So I briefly switched to screen mode to try and figure this out, and uh, <laughs> yeah, then I was able to quite quickly find out that you could close the chimney. That I was stuck there for a little bit, just because I was trying to do it in VR and just couldn't tell that you could interact with that. That looks like steam. The heat of the steam is actually making a hole in the water. That's interesting. Um, there's a few other places we haven't been here yet. There's here and. I hope that these huts go into the rock somewhat, because uh, otherwise your floor is also your door. It seems like it's a bit problematic in terms of uh, interior design. Uh, there is a ladder here, but we can't climb it. Uh, just lead to another hut anyway. And nobody is willing to let us in. Oh, here we can see a bunch of those sw fish. Hanging around. The ones they catch. Still haven't quite figured out what these balls are for. Looks... Oh, I see. They're attached by rope to... Those things, which are probably fish traps. And that's what these are here. Yeah, so this is how they catch the fish. These are fish traps. And the balls are buoys to locate the fish traps. Why do I feel the fish aren't orientated correctly right now? Bit of a glitch. <laughs> They're all fa swimming around facing down. A bit of a... Red herring for fans of the original who would expect something else to be floating in the in the water. Um, looks like this is also part of these hooks and whatever those are. Also part of the fishing equipment. Um, let's check out over there, though. Looks like that door... ...that's under the water there... ...um, is where the steam is coming out now that the, uh... Chimney's closed. And that is where we saw the drawing. It's kind of hard to see now because of the... Oh, it's actually open. All right. Because of the smoke, it's kind of harder to see. But... Um... Yeah, it is definitely open now. And there is steam coming out of there. 
We can't get to it, though. Although there is this ladder that goes all the way down, and it's right next to one of the spots where the sub goes, so... I think we should try bringing the submarine over here to see if that accomplishes something. But we'll do that in the next video.